Welcome to IP English Time with your teacher, Teacher Lisa. K3, let's review the feelings today and then we will play a game where you have to recognize what feeling it is. After that, we will do the workbook together. Okay, let's learn. Okay, let's start this lesson by looking at some pictures. Do you know what feeling it is? Okay, let's start. What's this? Happy. What is this? Sad. What is this? Hot. What is this? Cold. What is this? Hungry. What is this? Thirsty. What is this? Sleepy. What is this? Scared. What is this? Tired. And what is this? Shy. Okay, well done. These are our feelings. For the next part of this lesson, we are going to play a game. Okay, I will act one feeling and I want you to think. What feeling is it? Okay, are you ready? Let's start! Oh. Very good! Sleepy! Okay, the next one. Very good. Scared. Next one. Hot. Very good. Hot. The next one. Sad. Very good. The next one is... Cold. Very good. Can you repeat cold? Good job. And it's time for the last feeling happy very good happy wow you did so good in today's game well done k3 let's get your workbook ready and a pencil please and you can open your workbook on page number 24. So, if you have page number 24 ready, 
you will see a picture with some cats. So, we have to match the feeling to the correct animal. I see cats, I see birds, and I see a dog. Okay, now, who is scared? Make a line from the correct animal to the word. I see a cat. He is scared. Our next feeling, hungry. Who is hungry? Yes, the birds are hungry. Okay, can you make a line from hungry to the birds? Our next feeling, thirsty. Thirsty. Who is thirsty? Yes, there is one bird that is very thirsty. So, can you make a line from thirsty to the thirsty bird? Our next feeling is cold. Who is cold? Yes, it's the cat by the window. He is cold. Let's make a line from cold to the cat. And our last feeling, sleepy. Who is sleepy? Yes, it's the cat on the pillow. He is sleepy. Let's make a line from the cat to the word sleepy. Okay, kids, well done. This was section one. Now, if you look down here, section two, you see a girl and a boy. I want you to draw two feelings. The girl is happy and the boy is sad. Can you draw a happy face? And a sad face. When you are finished with page 24, you can get your colors out and color the pictures. Kids, well done in today's lesson. You did great. We did a review about feelings. You can recognize the feelings and you can even draw feelings in a face. Thank you so much for watching and joining in this lesson today. I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.